Fake Figures is my band name. When I picked up my first guitar, I was 11. I held it in my hands and I, you know, at the time had been listening to like Slayer and all this stuff that little 11 year old girls usually don't listen to, uh, but I couldn't get a note out of it. And it was kind of my goal from then on uh, to make that happen. My first teacher was total metalhead, you know, he had hair to his ass and um, he made me listen to Dio and, you know, all this cool shit and um, I fell in love with it, so I learned Rat and Dio and all this stuff from him and, you know, little tricks, so on and so forth. I, I kind of just found the right teachers for the gig, I guess. I think meaningful melodic riffs uh, are the heart of uh, my playing style. It's freezing over, but we're stuck in a hole. I love, I love, you know, shoegaze and I love you know, like Cocteau Twins, but I'd have to say Jimmy Page. It's funny, I don't really take any anything that, that he's played and put it into my own style, but definitely when I, if I do solo or anything like that, um, I think I'm heavily influenced by him. And, and he just had a way of, uh, you know, touching the instrument and making it sound the best it could possibly sound. I like using a lot of pedals and I'm not, I'm not a just plug straight in kind of person. You can talk shit on that if you want to. <laughs> when I hear when I hear a song first in my head, I don't just hear a riff. I hear the whole fucking thing, you know, mastered and stereo, you know. So I try to you know, recapture that as best I can. The minute I started like learning. Um, I think White Zombie or something was my first song, one of them. And Nirvana, of course. Uh, but the drummer that's actually in Fake Figures now lives two doors down from me. And I went over there with my guitar and I gave him my drum set and he actually picked it up really, really well. Once we started actually making music together that sounded halfway decent, I think I knew that that was a big direction that would end up unfolding. Guitar, <laughs> guitar has been so important to me because I think, you know, throughout life things kind of come and go, but I noticed when I put down my guitar, what I had learned for the day was still there the next day. And so uh, there was kind of a consistency that uh, you can't buy. <laughs> I play uh, a Fender Telly. They haven't even changed the pickups, but it's brutal as hell. And I really, really like the neck on it. I mean, it's my favorite guitar by far. I chose guitar because I dreamt about it. I, I, that's all I ever wanted to do. Again. 